Hey, welcome to Band Advice TV. If you're looking to go on wireless at your gigs, there's plenty of opportunities out there to pick up some used gear. But beware, you may be breaking the law. I'm your host, Mark V, and this is Tips, Tricks, Giggles, and... So you're thinking about going wireless. Hey, why not? Who wouldn't want to command the stage like Garth Brooks or Axl Rose? Or have the freedom to sling your guitar around in glorious 80s hairband style? Not being tethered is a wonderful thing. Well, these days, there are plenty of places, both online as well as in your local pawn shops, where you can pick up some decent used wireless gear and at a pretty decent price, too. But buyer beware. There may be a reason why this stuff is going so cheap. It may be illegal to operate. And it's all your smartphone's fault. See, it all started back in 2010 when the Federal Communications Commission reallocated the 700 megahertz band away from TV broadcast services and gave them to the mobile carriers and public safety services. Since wireless mics, in-ears, wireless guitar packs all operate on the same frequencies as TV, they were also prohibited from broadcasting on the ranges between 698 megahertz and 806 megahertz. Well, fast forward a few years, and the mobile device market continues to explode. Ergo, the demand for bandwidth is becoming critical. So around 2014, the FCC decided to auction off another chunk of frequencies. And guess what? The mobile phone carriers won. I know, shocking, right? So, effective July 13, 2020, the 600 megahertz range, more specifically 617 to 652, as well as 663 to 698 megahertz bands are being reallocated away from the TV and wireless devices to the mobile phone carriers. So what's that mean for us? Well, it means if you use your wireless devices in that range after that date, you're breaking the law and it can cost you thousands of dollars in fines. So if you already own some wireless mics, what you should do is right after you give this video a thumbs up, go and check the frequencies they use. If they are in that 700 megahertz range that I mentioned earlier, you'd be wise to stop using them immediately and send them off to your local e-waste recycler. If you have some wireless devices that will be affected by the reallocation in July 2020, now is the time to start planning an upgrade. And, you know, it wouldn't hurt to check with the manufacturers. Some of them are offering trade-in and discount options, but you better do it quickly because those opportunities will be expiring fast if they haven't already. So what happens after July 2020? Well, chances are the FCC isn't going to be snooping around the bars and the local venues trying to catch any scofflaw musicians out there. But rest assured, if T-Mobile starts getting complaints from their customers about hearing sweet child of mine screeching in the middle of their phone calls with grandma, they are going to file a report with the FCC. And also beware, as we get closer to that date, it's very likely we'll see an uptick in the sales of these devices on sites like Craigslist and eBay, as well as in your local pawn shops. The FCC rule states that people selling devices in the 600 megahertz range are supposed to notify buyers that they will no longer be usable after July 13th, 2020. But let's face it, not everyone is that honest, and some of them are going to be out there betting on the buyer's ignorance to try to make a quick buck. So my advice to you is to know what you're looking for. Do your due diligence and buyer beware. Also, when you're ready to go and replace your wireless system, Check out Sure.com. They have a great tool out there for helping to determine what is the best frequencies in your area. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And until next time, I'm Mark V. And remember, it's not just good advice, it's band advice. Peace.